Well, first of all, wearing this jersey is the biggest honor I've ever done, had in my life. Uh, so that for itself, it's, it's, it gives me a lot of motivation. But besides that, watching my teammates cheer, cheer out for me from the stands and if they're playing right next to me still, you know, seeing them playing and battling right next to me gives me a lot of motivation. Also the fans that we have brought so many more fans since my first match here, you know, so it's, it, I don't want to disappoint them ever. Uh, so that all combined gives me a lot of motivation. And I just want to be the best. Um, I mean, it also helps when you have other guys doing it along with you. When you go out there by yourself or maybe just with one guy, it's really easy to tank and not try your hardest. But when you have seven, eight other guys out there, you don't want to give any of them a bad practice. I guess trying to, try to be better than some of the other guys that I grew up with and um, that went to other schools. I see them having a lot of success. So. In my mind, I'm always like, I gotta, gotta train harder. Like, what's he doing? I have to run extra miles or work out harder and all that st stuff. Well, now I, since I'm one of the older guys on the squad, I feel like it's, you know, I have to be a leader, um, regardless if I'm a captain or not. Um, I feel like it's just important to lead by example. So, you know, having younger guys, you know, that look up to you and kind of, you know, ask for your opinion, uh, you know, it just. I feel like I need to, you know, set an example for them and also too, I mean, um, you know, I've been here for two and a half years and, you know, I, I really like to show off what I've learned. I think that's definitely a strength of mine is, is motivational, is connecting to each individual and understanding what they need at that moment, what they need to hear at that moment to be motivated. Uh, it's, I don't have a system, it's something that I just feel, I can tell when a guy has, is scared, I can tell when a guy is overconfident. And there are tools that we use to just knock them back to where they need to be right in the middle of that pressure curve so they can perform at their best ability. And that, that is at any stage, whether that's in their own personal life or out on the courts or whether they're dealing with the team in the right way. And that's uh, definitely my job for sure. And I think that's one of my best assets. Well, I think, uh, you know, just from the few matches that I've had here already at Carolina, just playing for something bigger than yourself. I mean, junior tennis is a lot about individual. I mean, it's only you. Um, you know, it's about, you know, if you're playing a match, you're winning for yourself. But here, you're winning for your teammates, you're winning for your coaches, you're winning for, you know, your university. So, I think it just kind of brings out just more passion. And I'm trying to win, you know, for just the grander scheme of things. You know, I want to, I want this program to be recognized as one of the best, you know, programs in the country, one of the best programs, you know, here in the South Lake Department, which is, you know, extremely strong.